Hello, my name is Joan Daly and I'm the head teacher of Holyrood RC High School. I'd like to welcome you to this virtual information evening for S2 parents, in which we'd like to present information to help you to make an informed decision to support your child as he or she moves from second year into third year. I'd like to thank you for submitting your questions in advance. This has really allowed us to tailor make the presentation to suit your needs as best we can. And don't worry if your specific question doesn't appear. Um, what we're planning to do is create a frequently asked questions leaflet which will appear on our website. So during the presentation, you will hear a PowerPoint with a voiceover from Mrs Forbes and Mr Moore, Deputy Head Teachers and also from Mr Kiernan, who's the S2 year head. As I said, our aim is really to support you in making these important decisions in order to have all the information required that feed into the process. And ultimately, our overall aim is to support our pupils to achieve their full potential and make sure that they're all equipped with the skills, the experiences and the qualifications to eventually reach a sustained and positive destination. So I do hope you find this presentation useful and informative. Hello, I'm Mrs Forbes and I'm going to take you through the next few slides, focusing on which subjects pupils will study in S3, how S3 prepares pupils for the senior phase and pupil choices in S4. In S3, pupils will continue with the broad general education in line with the curriculum for excellence. At Holyrood, we offer a broad range of courses covering the curriculum that allows our pupils to follow the most appropriate pathway to ensure that their personal journey through secondary school leads them to a sustained positive destination. The curriculum structure in S3 covers each curricular mode. The curricular modes are English, Maths, Modern Languages, Social Subjects, Science, Creative and Aesthetic and Technology. This ensures balance in each pupil's curriculum. It is important at this stage that pupils continue with the broad general education and therefore pupils are asked to choose subjects from each of these areas. This allows them to continue to develop and enhance their knowledge, understanding and skills. We ask that pupils moving into S3 choose one subject from each of the seven curricular modes, as well as an eighth subject from one of the options in column eight of the option form. Column 8 of the option choice form offers pupils the opportunity to choose another subject from a curricular area that they particularly enjoy and have experienced success in. At Holyrood, we believe that offering eight subjects is best for our pupils. We see this through the success of our pupils in their SQA qualifications. It also benefits our pupils later on as they have more choice and flexibility when choosing their five subjects for S5. As well as studying subjects from the different curricular areas, all pupils continue to follow course subjects on their timetable. These subjects are physical education, religious education and personal social education. In S3, pupils will have the opportunity to opt into the Duke of Edinburgh Bronze Award. We will let pupils and families know more about this award and how it is structured in the timetable in due course. All pupils will also complete an S3 profile by the end of S3, which highlights their achievements and skills. Whilst covering the experiences and outcomes in each curricular area within the broad general education, S3 pupils can start to build a platform of knowledge in each of their chosen subjects that will help prepare them for their national qualifications in S4. This will support a smooth transition from S3 into S4 and ensure that pupils are developing their skills, knowledge and understanding within each curricular area. It also offers an opportunity to build on their confidence, leading to a fuller enjoyment and success in these subjects. At the end of S3, there will be a further review of learning. This is done in consultation with pupils, parents and carers, teachers and year head. At this stage, we would look to offer the possibility of vocational courses to pupils where we have identified that this would be the appropriate pathway for them. Looking ahead to S4, which is the start of the senior phase, pupils will study and prepare for their national qualifications in each of the subjects that they have chosen. All courses are certificated by the Scottish Qualifications Authority. 
The courses are delivered with pace and challenge and are offered at appropriate levels to meet pupils' individual needs. The levels of national qualifications and offer in S4 are National 3, National 4 and National 5. If you are unfamiliar with these qualifications and levels, then it is perhaps easier to think of these in terms of previous Scottish qualifications. For example, National 3 replaced the previous Access 3 and Standard Grade Foundation qualifications. National 4 replaced the previous Intermediate 1 and Standard Grade General qualifications. And National 5 replaced the previous Intermediate 2 and Standard Grade Credit qualifications. It is possible that pupils will study subjects all at the same level or at a mix of levels in S4. Final levels of presentation for the national qualifications are decided at a later point in S4 based on evidence of attainment. Hello, I am Mr Kiernan, the year ahead for S2 and I will be discussing the next three slides. Firstly, how do we support pupils with a review of learning? We do this in four ways, a consultation process, through PSE classes and tutor time, and having contact with the pupils. If I start with the consultation process, this began with the recent parents' evening. Although this year the process was online, it still allowed parents to get valuable information on their son and daughter's strengths across the curriculum. The next step would normally have been a parental information evening, and again, due to the current restrictions, this has been taken the form of a parental survey followed by this PowerPoint, which is all the relevant info you would have received during the information evening itself. I will now look at the other three aspects in more detail. Work in PSE and tutor time. In PSE, we have been given pupils the opportunity to reflect on their skills, qualities and interests, and how best to use them in different career paths. Every pupil has also had sessions from Carla Hart, who is a school careers advisor, in PSE setting and through assemblies. Furthermore, we will normally be looking at My World of Work website in PSE at this time. This is a valuable tool to aid pupils during the course choice process involving interactive tasks and quizzes. We will now look at delivering this through Teams. In tutor time, pupils are given opportunities to review their learning as well as their reports. They did this for their interim report. But as the full report was sent out during lockdown, pupils were obviously not able to go through this process in tutor time. So can I ask that you, as parents, take the time to discuss this report with your child and jointly reflect on the comments from their teachers. This can be an important aspect of the course choice process. Contact with pupils. I will be regularly posting relevant info to the whole year group to ensure that everyone is clear in the steps required to complete the process. This will be done via email and or Teams. Furthermore, as stated previously, I will be arranging for a whole year Teams lesson on my world of work. Please encourage your child to attend this important lesson. Secondly, course choice forms including parental comments. As is normal for procedures for Holyrood, Every pupil will have the opportunity to complete a first draft course choice form. This will give me the opportunity to consider any parent comments or queries. Once the final drafts have been returned, I will be notifying any pupils unable to get a first choice in particular column and offer further support from myself or Carla to advise on next steps. Finally, working alongside Carla, I will be giving pupils the opportunity to individually contact myself with any general course choice queries or Carla who will be on hand to discuss any career path questions. I would strongly urge parents to check that their child are getting information from Carla and encourage them to take up the offer of support that she is offering. Thank you. Hello, my name is Mr Moore. I am Deputy Head Teacher at Holyrood High School. My role in supporting coursing is to take the information you give me from completing your course choice form and create the school timetable. Please take your time to look at the form. You will see that there are eight columns. These are split into the curricular modes of English, Mathematics, Modern Languages, Social Subjects, Science, Expressive Arts, Technology, and the final column that allows pupils to take a further subject that will increase the breadth of their learning. 
All pupils will take English in Column 1, Mathematics in Column 2 and French in Column 3. Pupils will make two choices in each of the remaining columns, 4 to 8. You must make two choices in these columns so that if you do not get your first choice in any column, you will be able to get your second choice. An example of this would be selecting in column 2. You may pick history as your first choice and modern studies as your second choice. Now if you look at column 8, this time you may pick modern studies as your first choice and history as your second choice. This would ensure that you would be able to do both history and modern studies as two of your eight courses. One further word of advice is, please remember you must not pick the same course twice as a first choice. You will be sent information on Teams and also by email on how to access the course choice form and course choice information book that will be on the school website. These will be available from Tuesday 23rd of February. The form that you will complete is a draft form. The information from this will let the school know which subjects are the most popular and of any difficulties you may have with the choices that are available. This form must be completed by Monday the 1st of March. The draft form will also give you an opportunity to think about what subjects you would prefer to do in S3 prior to making a final decision in a few weeks' time. The draft form will also let the school know what the most popular subjects are in column 8. This column will be reduced to the most popular 9 or 10 subjects on the final form. The final course choice form will be issued to all pupils by Monday the 8th of March. You will be able to access information on each subject from the course choice handbook that will be available on the school website. Your year head, Mr Kiernan, will also be able to answer any questions you may have. You will also be able to get information on potential careers from the My World of Work website. Our school careers advisor, Carla Hart, will also be able to advise on potential careers and suitable courses. Your subject teachers will be able to give you further advice and information regarding the courses they teach.